in mahabharat when pandavas were sent to forest after the game of dice there was a game of dice between pandavas and kauravas and kauravas cheated pandavas and uh, they got their kingdom all their wealth their weapons and finally even their wife draupadi and they even tried insulting draupadi and finally the conclusion was 12 years they should go to forest and after 12 years they should stay one year incognito agnyatavas nobody should be able to recognize them and during one year of that incognito if somebody is able to recognize pandavas or oh, here are the pandavas then the terms and conditions are that again 12 more years they should go to forest so in this way the idea of kauravas was that they will always be in the forest and they will never come back and when they are in the forest they should never make friendship with any kings they can't make any truce and come and declare war with kauravas no they should never do all that so like this there were many serious uh, terms and conditions so somehow pandavas they were able to complete their 12 years of vanavas and then even one year of incognito agnyatavas and then they came back so now according to the old agreement kauravas are supposed to return their uh, indraprastha indraprastha belongs to pandavas so the idea was till pandavas come back it will be with kauravas and once they come back if they finish all the terms and condition then it should be given back to them so now the kauravas said we will not give back it's ours we have ruled it for long time and they figured somehow they picked up some quarrel with pandavas and they said no we we are not going to give back so this is a uh, origin for the kurukshetra war and uh, so now what to do now how to get indraprastha back their the kauravas are not following their old agreement their own promise so now the only way to get this back first there will be negotiation somebody has to convince kauravas to return the kingdom the last option is war if you don't agree what to do we have to declare war and so in the war we will defeat you and we'll get our kingdom back so kshatriyas they are not supposed to live like beggars they are not supposed to beg and live they are supposed to be independent that is the requirement of kshatriyas so that is why the pandavas were asking at least give us five villages okay you don't want to give us indraprastha but give us at least five villages and we take care of those five villages and we stay so kaurava said no so this part of mahabharata is called shanti parva or shanti sandhana parva efforts to maintain the peace before the violence kurukshetra is violence so before the violence there were lot of efforts put to maintain the peace that is why it is called shanti parva to stop the war so who uh who represented pandavas to stop the war was none other than krishna himself krishna personally goes to hastinapur to convince dhritarashtra duryodhana that please don't do like this please give indraprastha back to pandavas in that way you and pandavas both of you can live happily but unfortunately duryodhana doesn't listen to krishna in fact he makes the devious plan to arrest krishna and put him into the jail can you imagine according to raj dharma anybody who comes as an ambassador you are not supposed to arrest that person even if you don't like them so they are representing they come 
not to declare war with you so you can arrest the person only if he is harmful to you but krishna never came and brought any harm to kauravas he just came as a peace ambassador he has come to discuss about peace so duryodhana listening to shakuni karana dushyasana he broke raja dharma and he wanted to arrest krishna but he was not successful krishna showed vishwarupa to duryodhana and he gave warning that very soon you will be destroyed all the offers given to you you are not taking you are not using your intelligence so now krishna leaves the palace and he comes out so as a last option of the peace mediation shanti to maintain the peace so now krishna does something a very very uh, interesting thing and that's a very uh, important turning point in mahabharat now krishna wants to meet karna after he tried speaking to duryodhan now krishna wants to meet karna and he wants to talk to him something very important so krishna tells karna i want to meet you please come and meet me so both of them meet somewhere outskirts of hastinapur so then krishna informs karna i want to tell you something very important karna ask what is that you know you are an exceptionally talented very different capable person it is not possible that you belong to suta community it's not that you come from the suta community background you actually belong to kshatriya there is a janma rahasya krishna tells to karna because karna was always interested to know who am i he knew very well that he was raised by this adhirath and uh, radha his mother and he knew that they are not his original parents they were uh, they were foster parents they raised karna so he always wanted to know his janma rahasya who am i who are my parents what is the reason why i am born so like this but he didn't have access to it that information so krishna said i know your janma rahasya i want to tell you that so karna was very disturbed hearing this oh so many years i wanted to understand all this information why krishna wants to tell me today and then krishna said you see your guess is right you don't belong to an ordinary family background you actually belong to a very great royal parentage and then finally krishna reveals to karna that you belong to pandavas family karna was shocked what are you speaking i belong to this kuru dynasty this great family the royal family of the kuru yes you are the first child of kunti your mother is none other than kunti and pandavas yudhishthira bhima arjun nakula sahadeva duryodhana dushyasana all are your brothers <coughs> this is your janma rahasya krishna tells to karna and karna was shocked his head started reeling is it true krishna what am i hearing krishna says yes it is a fact then karna out of shock with tears in his eyes he asks if that's the case my great mother kunti why did she abandon me why she did not take care of me and then krishna explains the circumstances and the situations in which karna was born to kunti and the son surya bhagwan and then you know how she was not married and this there were so many social stigma and kunti was too young she was unable to make decision and all that he reveals and then 
Krishna says, look, why I have told you this information? You see, all are your brothers, but they are fighting. And my intention is to fight this, sorry, to stop this fight. Now Duryodhana is saying he will not return the kingdom back to Pandavas. And the Pandavas, they deserve their kingdom. And if Duryodhana doesn't agree, then there will be war. And I don't want this war to happen. So now that you are actually the elder brother to everybody, you are the you are elder brother to even Yudhishthir, you are elder brother to Duryodhana. And you have exceptionally great friendship with Duryodhana. Duryodhana listens to you for everything. Right? He has very good friendship with you. So if you tell Duryodhan, and if I declare this, the secret to everybody that you are the uh, senior most among everybody, Duryodhana will be very happy. He'll be very happy to accept you as the senior and accept you to hand over kingdom to you. And Pandavas listen to me and if I tell them that you will be the king, they will be happy. So in this way we can stop the war. So, Karana is totally shocked to hear this entire thing that, oh, now, what is this something new twist came in my life? That I am the elder brother of all the Kauravas and Pandavas. And my mother is Kunti. And I have promised to Duryodhana that either I will kill Bhima or I will kill Arjun and I will give satisfaction to Duryodhan. This is my promise to Duryodhan. And then Karana started thinking that when nobody was there to support me, it was Duryodhana who supported me. It is Duryodhana who stood by me. Karana started thinking. Nobody was ready to respect me in the whole world. They were all uh, disrespecting me. They were ill-treating me. At that time, who gave me respect? Duryodhana gave me respect. Who gave me this power and position? Duryodhana gave me power and position. So in this situation, I received everything from Duryodhana. And his only desire is to defeat these Pandavas if there is war. In fact, Duryodhana wants war. And in that war, he's, he has fully uh, ha he has faith in me that Karna will defeat the Pandavas. And whole life I have this desire that, oh, who is the greatest fighter? Who is the greatest archer? Everybody says Arjuna, Arjuna. I want to defeat him. I want to kill him and to show that I am the greatest. On top of that, I promised Duryodhana that I will defeat this Pandavas and give him the victory. So, my loyalty is to Duryodhana. And if I go him and tell him that now I am your brother and I will become the king, whole life Duryodhana has desired that he should become king, he should become king. His father also never became king, Dhritarashtra. So he also has a desire, at least my son should become the king. And Duryodhana also always dreamt I should become the king. Now how can I destroy the desire and dream of Duryodhana by revealing the secret? So, Karana told Krishna that it's very nice that you told me about my Janma Rahasya, but I'm not interested to become the king. I don't have this desire to become king. In fact, I want to support Duryodhana to become the king. He has done so much for me. He has helped me. He has given me respect. He, was gi he has given me power. He has given me position. So my loyalty is to Duryodhana. I know that I am the elder brother, but it's too late. I don't want to follow this. But you have also spoiled my mind by revealing the secret. Now how can I attack my own brothers, Pandavas? It will be very difficult when I know that, you know, this is my family. So this is, this comes in Karana, this, this comes in Shanti Parva of Shri Krishna Karana Samvada, where Karana comes to know about his Janma Rahasya. Now, why we are discussing this? 
in the context of the shloka where in bhagavad gita krishna says karmano hi api bodhavyam bodhavyam cha vikarmanah krishna says you should know what is karma you should know what is vikarma and you should also know what is akarma karma vikarma akarma what you should do what you should not do and what are those action when you do it has no reaction now first of all why did krishna why did krishna reveal the secret to karna at that time he told of course that i to stop the war i am revealing this your birth secret but isn't it unfair that by revealing this secret krishna knew very well that karna is going to support duryodhana why should he reveal the secret and by revealing the secret to karna now he has actually disturbed his loyalty to duryodhana now he knows pandavas are my brothers kunti is my bro- uh, my uh, mother and this is my own family after knowing it is my own family now how will karna feel while fighting so some people say you see krishna is such a big war strategist he knew that karna will be an enemy of the pandavas so he went and de- destroyed karna's loyalty by revealing all this there are many reasons for this but what is the shastra's reason why krishna revealed the secret so shila madhvacharya reveals in shri mahabharata tatparya nirnaya the previous life of karna and all the background of this in the previous life karna as we know he is a surya putra he is an expansion of surya deva so in his previous janma karna was sugriva in treta yuga who is karna in the treta yuga he was sugriva so sugriva was living in the forest and uh, he was actually abandoned by his bro- his brother wali and wali had attacked sugriva and he has driven him away from his uh, kishkinda kingdom so when lord ram shri ram comes to kishkinda that time sugriva ask ram to kill wali to kill wali and finally ram because of request of sugriva had to kill wali now wali is an expansion or amsha or an incarnation of indra indra himself so indra had appeared as wali surya appeared as sugriva and this indra and surya they appeared in dwapar yuga as surya appeared as karna and indra appeared as arjuna now karmano hi api bodhavyam every action you are accountable every action you are accountable you have to pay the price of everything in your life so even if you are a devata like surya indra chandra everybody is under the law of karma it's not that sometimes in our country or in our whole world we see if you are powerful if you are rich if you are influential you can escape from law somehow you can manipulate but in the government of god nobody is exempted from any law everybody is held accountable so surya sugriva got his own brother killed wali so now the karma reaction for that is that he will be killed by his own brother whom he got killed he got wali killed wali is an incarnation of indra now this indra will get an opportunity to kill this surya in this incarnation what experience you gave to your own brother the same experience will 
కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు యూ సో ఇన్ ద త్రేతాయుగా సుగ్రీవ టు హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ్ టు కిల్ ఇస్ బ్రదర్ నా సేమ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ్ విల్ హెల్ప్ ఇంద్ర దట్ ఈస్ అర్జున్ టు ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ద కర్మ రియాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ కిలింగ్ కర్ణ దిస్ ఇస్ కర్మ నో బడి కెన్ గెట్ ఎగ్జామ్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ కర్మ సో దిస్ ఈస్ అ రీజన్ వై కర్ణ వాస్ కిల్డ్ బై అర్జున్ డిస్పైట్ బీయింగ్ వెరీ పవర్ఫుల్ కర్ణ వాస్ నాట్ అన్ ఆర్డినరీ పర్సన్ he was very very powerful person same way wali was very powerful in ramayana exceptionally powerful supremely powerful even then he was killed because ram was supporting sugriva similar way now same ram has come as krishna and now that krishna is supporting wali or indra who has come as arjun so now with all your power karna cannot protect himself he will be killed so here krishna says karmano hi api bodhavyam bodhavyam cha vikarmanah now we have to understand sugriva he could have asked lord ram that get my wife back get my kingdom back in a different way you don't have to ask ram to kill wali maybe there were different ways maybe without killing wali there were other ways he could have asked lord shri ram my dear ram you see there is injustice my brother wali has kidnapped my wife and he has taken away he has driven away me from the kingdom can you please give me justice what do you think is the best way he didn't ask all these things he he directly desired he gave this that you please kill my brother wali okay krishna krishna says in kathopanishad nityo nityanam chetanas chetananam eko yo bahunam vidadhati kaman kama i fulfill everybody's desire i don't interfere with your uh, good desire bad desire a murderer has a desire to murder krishna sitting neutrally in our heart as paramatma he will give you all opportunity but krishna will tell you you have to face the consequences for this you have to face the consequences that you cannot escape you know there will be consequences you have to pay the price for it and you make the choice once you make the choice i will not interfere so ram didn't interfere with the choice of sugriva so okay you want this so be it but you have to pay the price for it karmano hi api bodhavyam what is karma what brings reaction what is vikarma vikaranascha vikarmascha bodhavya now this is the background but why krishna told karna that you are the brother even though there is karma everybody has to face the consequences of karma there is only one exemption from that karma reaction there is one exemption if somebody wants to come out of this karma reaction and say that i don't want to go through this karma reaction okay somehow in my past i did something wrong now i know i have to go through this uh, bad karma reaction if you don't want to go you still have an option and what is that option krishna says in bhagavad gita sarva dharman parityajyam mam ekam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha ishyami ma shuchah aham tvam sarva papebhya mokshah i will give moksha from all your karma reaction if you surrender on to me so krishna gave the opportunity of surrender krishna gave opportunity of surrender now karana has an option of surrendering to krishna and not get not get the reaction of what he has done in treta yuga that option exists that option exists for everybody but again what karana did is his own choice for which you have to again go through your consequences this is very important why we are discussing because that is akarma 
you have an option of converting your karma into a karma a karma means for your action there will be no reaction that option exists but what happened with karna karna has a choice between his material loyalty material friendship material uh, respect for duryodhana versus dharma what is dharma krishna says in bhagavad gita dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge i come here to establish dharma paritranaay sadhunam vinashaya ch duskrutam i want to protect good people i want to remove bad people right so krishna is has come to establish dharma so now he is asking karna to participate in that dharma plan you listen to me and listening to krishna obeying krishna following krishna's instruction implementing krishna's desire is dharma like when we follow government that is dharma materially speaking so god represents a supreme government and god has a plan of establishing good people as administrators so he is asking karna that you please uh, cooperate with my plan in that way you will be relieved from your karma reaction you are very talented you are very powerful you are very accomplished you know so many shastra astra you are personally trained by parashuram all that is there but nothing will help you if you go against god's plan no matter who is in your favor no matter how many people are in your support just that one simple mistake in your life what is that uh, mistake not surrendering to krishna's plan that can destroy everything in your life like what happened with karna now karna see what is his problem and what basis he is making decision he is saying oh, when nobody gave me respect duryodhana gave me respect when nobody gave me power position duryodhana made me the king of angadesh he made me angaraj i was suta putra i had no power at that time i had no position he gave me power and position by making me angaraj and nobody was ready to make friendship with me he made friendship with me see how much duryodhana has done how can i now leave duryodhana it looks correct no what karna is thinking what do you all say many of us also think like this loyalty but loyalty to whom friendship with whom relationship with whom it is like this you know you are you are trying to do your education and nobody is ready to help you for so for some reasons let's say your parents are very poor they are not able to pay your school fees college fees and all that and everybody is making fun of you but you are very talented and somebody comes forward and say i will sponsor your education and they sponsor your education and after your education they only give you a very good job maybe ceo they'll make you and all those things and now finally now somebody comes and tells you see the person who sponsored your education is a terrorist the person who gave you job is an anti national see now we have we have to fight with this person anti national terrorist person so why don't you come and help us oh no 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 i cannot do this i understand that you are all you know fighting for country for good cause but the same country did not stand by me he he they this he may be terrorist but he so much he respected me he recognized my talent he sponsored my education so i want to take the side of this person so this is exactly the situation of karna he knows duryodhana is wrong he knows that he is taking the side of adharma but the problem with karna is that for him his material loyalty his material relationship called friendship with duryodhana 
That has become more important than dharma. So what you all say? Is it right what Karana did? What should he, what should he have done? So, this is what happens in our life also. Anytime we may be in the position of Karana, there may, one side, there will be people who have helped you. There may be people who have taken care of you. There may be people who have given you so much love, care, relationship, everything. But, if you come to know they are against Krishna, they are against the plan of Krishna, then it is up to you. Whom do you choose? Do you choose Krishna? Do you choose those people who are against Krishna just because they loved you, they took care of you, they gave you, uh, you know, a, a schooling or a, they took care of your education or all those things. This intelligence we should develop and that's what Krishna is saying. You should know what is karma, you should know what is vikarma, you should know what is akarma. Now Krishna is asking Karana to do akarma. Don't get into this karma and vikarma. But most of us follow the same path of karana. Oh, how can I leave these people? Yes, don't leave. Krishna is not asking you to leave everybody. He is telling you, you follow God's plan. God's plan. What is God's plan? You become the king. But karana is saying, no, I will not become the king. <laughs> Let Duryodhana become the king. You see? So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna teaches dharma to all of us. Even after reading Bhagavad Gita, many of us, we say, yeah, I know this is all correct, but you know what can I do? I have to take care of my home. I have to take care of my family. I have to take care of X, Y, Z in my life. And they are all adharma. They are not interested in, in Krishna. They are not interested to follow anything. But that's okay. So then we are like Karana. No problem, you can follow Duryodhana, but you should know what will happen to you in the future. What happens to Karana in the Kurukshetra? He will be defeated in a very, uh, you know, not so good way, you will be defeated. So that's why the end of Bhagavad Gita says, Yato Dharma, Tato Jaya. You know who made this statement? Who made this statement? Yato dharma tato jaya. Sanjaya never made the statement. I don't know whoever is saying this. It's, no, it's not there in Bhagavad Gita. It's there in Mahabharat. Yato dharma tato jaya. Can you all guess who made the statement? The statement was made by Gandhari. When Duryodhana goes to his mother, what a glorious mother Gandhari. You know? Tomorrow is the International Mother's Day. It is very nice to remember such great mothers like Gandhari. She, she loves Duryodhan as a mother. But when the same that child Duryodhana comes to Gandhari and asks, My dear mother, please bless me, your Mahapativrata. Please bless me so that I will win in the Kurukshetra. She blessed Duryodhana. Yato dharma tato jaya. Wherever dharma is there, let that party win. She didn't say, Duryodhana, you win. I bless Duryodhana to win. She didn't say this. She said, Yato dharma tato jaya. Look at her. What kind of a glorious mother she is. She wants to follow dharma. And she wants the victory of the dharma. She is not bothered whether my son will win or not. She loves, but her love for dharma is more than her love for <laughs> Duryodhana. Such glorious mothers we see in Ramayana Mahabharat. She is not blind. She, she has put that patti. But she, her spiritual vision is not blind. Her heart has not become blind because of attachment. When we develop attachment, we, we become blind. We don't know what is right and wrong. Gandhari was not that kind of a blind woman. Even though physical vision she covered, but her spiritual, spiritual vision was very active and sharp. 
to her own son she didn't bless saying that may you become victorious she said yatho dharma tatho jaya let there be victory where there is dharma and that dharma krishna is asking karna please follow dharma but karna is saying no i know it may be a dharma he says if you read in the shanti parva you go and uh, uh, search in chat gpt you will get all those shlokas and you will see that how krishna tells karna this is dharma and karna also agrees yes this is dharma but i still i want to support duryodhana so there are so many people like that good people karna is a good person in what sense he is a materially good person he says how can i betray duryodhan i want to support duryodhan he has helped me he has taken care of me he has given me love he has given me friendship so how can i abandon him see this is a very very important turning point in everybody's life one day you will come to know you are not this body your atma like karna always wanted to know his janma rahasya we also have our janma rahasya what is our janma rahasya that mamai vamsha jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana actually i belong to krishna my original identity is my original father mother is krishna पिताहमस्य जगतो माता धाता पिता महा कृष्णा इज सेइंग इन भगवत गीता आई एम योर फादर आई एम योर मदर आई बिलोंग यू नो यू बिलोंग टू मी ममई वंश जीव लोके दिस इज आवर जन्म रहस्य बट वी आर नॉट सो हैप्पी टू रिसीव दिस जन्म रहस्य ओ सो व्हाट इट मे बी but i want to follow my material this yes you can follow krishna never told karana that you don't uh, you know don't take care of duryodhan he said but take care of them in a dhar- dharmic way my proposal to you krishna's proposal to karana was that let everybody follow you and you become the king but karana is saying no i can't break the heart of duryodhan it will be very bad so that means sometimes we are okay to disobey the god simply to make sure that material relationships are taken care till what is it is it permanent relationship it's a temporary relationship after your death your relationship with this person is permanently gone so your permanent relationship is always with god that is why it is called dharma so we should know that if i don't follow the plan of god i'm getting into either karma or vikarma okay he didn't follow the krishna's advice karana has an option of by following krishna he can get free from his previous karma reaction he got his brother wali killed in the previous life in the treta yuga that karma is waiting that you will also be killed by your own brother that karma is waiting but it will not work if you listen to krishna sarva papebhyo moksha ishyami krishna says i will liberate you from all your karma reaction so he didn't listen to krishna he had an opportunity to get free from karma but he didn't choose that opportunity he followed his own mind followed his own uh, ego so because of this he went through his own karma reaction what was karma reaction he got killed by his own brother and in both the cases god was there to deliver the karma he was with sugriva he is also with wali he delivers samoham sarva bhuteshu i am equal to everyone but if you surrender on to me then i will take care of you i will take care of you i will inter- i will involve in your life i will protect you like how krishna protected arjuna in the previous session we discussed how krishna aditya astangatah he created an illusion in the sky as if the sun is set just to protect <coughs> arjun because arjuna had taken oath pratigya 
before sunset i will kill jayadrath otherwise i will jump into fire and i will kill myself now krishna doesn't want his devotee to die so he will do anything for his devotee so for that he did so many things hara hara adbhuta sahasa hara hara adbhuta sahasa sanjay is telling to be uh, to dhritarashtra what a great adventure krishna did he created the uh, illusion as if the sun is set and also he made sure that jayadratha's head doesn't fall on the earth otherwise arjuna's head will burst into thousand pieces he did all these things and in the previous day night krishna in the dream of arjuna took arjuna to kailasa and again made him uh, meet lord shiva and gave the pashupatastra diksha how to use that astra because with that astra only he killed jayadratha how much krishna did to protect arjuna and he was ready to do all these things for karna also <coughs> it's not only for arjun he was ready to do all these things for karna but why karna was not ready to surrender to krishna so both arjuna karna have an opportunity to listen to krishna arjuna decides to listen how do we know in bhagavad gita arjuna says what he says karishye vachanam tava whatever you say i will do karna didn't say whatever you say i will do he said i will do whatever i want to do whatever you are telling i know it is nice i know it is correct but i am not going to do what you say i will do what i want to do see be careful do you want to become karna in your life do you want to become arjun in your life karna says i will do what i want to do i know what is dharma but still i'll do whatever i want to do arjun says it's very difficult for me to do i'm crying it's breaking my heart to fight in the war but still i will do what krishna says it's difficult for both karna is also going through difficulty it is breaking the heart of karna it is also breaking the heart of arjun it is not that arjun is very happy to kill his own family members he is also feeling very sad katham bhishmam cha dronam cha ishu bi pratiyotsyami he says how can i kill my own guru drona how can i kill bhishma it's difficult for arjun also even though it is difficulty the greatness of arjuna is that he likes to follow what krishna says he wants to be the side of dharma the problem with karna is that he knows what is dharma but he doesn't want to follow dharma he wants to go by his so called material loyalty like i gave an example somebody is sponsored he didn't know he is a terrorist but later he came to know at least that time he should give up no 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 even now also i, I want to take his side because he helped me then it is sentimentalism then it is sentiment it is not intelligence it is sentimentalism even when you know it is wrong you still want to do that that is such things are called sentimental so karna became sentimental arjuna became intelligent buddhi he uses his buddhi to surrender to krishna and krishna says if you surrender unto me what you do will not have any karma reaction because i will i will liberate you so all of us should develop this attitude what is that attitude attitude of arjuna in bhagavad gita karishye vachanam tava i will do what krishna says it might look like something wrong like krishna is asking to fight with my own family i have to kill my own family members it's very difficult but that's dharma if that's dharma i have to do like for example one of your family members becomes a terrorist you sh- you should be ready to reveal their information to government that's your first loyalty should be to country then you are appreciated like that our first loyalty in our life should be to god and to dharma and that's called knowledge and that knowledge is what krishna is teaching in bhagavad gita so here krishna says karmano api bodhavyam bodhavyam cha vikarmanah 
అకర్మణశ్చోధవ్యం గహనా కర్మణో గతి యు షుడ్ నో వాట్ ఇస్ కర్మ యు షుడ్ నో వాట్ ఇస్ వికర్మ యు షుడ్ నో వాట్ ఇస్ అకర్మ అండ్ దీస్ ఆర్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ బట్ ప్రభుపాద్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్స్ ఇన్ పర్పట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ ఇన్ టచ్ విత్ డివోటీస్ దే విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు మేక్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో విల్ ఎండ్ విత్ దిస్ థాట్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ షుడ్ ఐ ఫాలో కరణ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ షుడ్ ఐ కా ఫాలో అర్జున్ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ భగవద్గీతా కీ జగద్గురుశ్రీల ప్రభుపాద్ కీ నితాగోర్ ప్రేమనంది